All right, so there's like four formulas that are going to get you through this entire chapter. You've got arithmetic sequences where you're adding the same thing every time. So to get a formula for the nth term, a sub n is going to be your first term plus your common difference times n minus 1. And for geometric, same idea. You can get any term by taking your first term and multiplying by your common ratio to n minus 1 times. You could also add all of these guys up and get a formula for the sum of all of them. Mm -hmm. So you can get the sum of any terms by taking, for an arithmetic, uh, take the number of terms times the first term plus the last term divided by 2. So that's n times a sub 1 plus a sub n divided by 2. And for geometric, you, take, you can get the sum of any terms by taking the first term a sub 1 times 1 minus r t n over 1 minus r. There's one more formula. You can actually add an infinite number of terms if it's geometric and only if the common ratio is less than 1. We can say that the sum of an infinite number of terms is this same thing without this part. So it's actually easier. It's just a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Just chuck that part and you've got it. So these, I guess, five formulas will get you through the entire chapter on arithmetic and geometric. And what numbers for arithmetic go into that? 